Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to my channel, Eat Healthy, Get Rich, Drink Good Beer. If you don't know me, my name is Taranjit Singh Rai, and I'm not gonna say my usual line because I have seen now retired people are actually also following my channel. Congratulations to all of you for a fantastic 2021. For those who have followed this channel, we have made humongous gains, especially in the strike coin. If you put $1,000 in there at my call, that is what $200,000. So congratulations. And I know personally many of you who have contacted me to thank me. So actually, it's well done to you because you did your own research. You just didn't follow a random YouTuber. I wish you an absolutely amazing 2022 as well. When I started this channel early in 2021, my goal was one video per week, 1,000 subscribers at the end of my first year as a YouTuber. I have smashed that goal and if you have benefited from this channel you smash that like button hit subscribe hit that bell notification button because you don't want to miss on some important educational content educational content only i'm not a financial advisor these videos are totally for entertainment purposes only one stop that absolutely crushed it for us was also at cmc they lost the case anyways but you should always take profits that's what i have been advising you on this channel repeatedly the another big winner on this channel was the launch pads we made quite significant gains using bin starter kcc pad super launcher so on and so forth we made really sometimes 10x sometimes 100x gains now how long can that continue and this is the topic of today's video people continuously make money on launch pads is there a launch pad killer and in my mind yes there is because just see how launch pads work you launch a project it goes crazy who makes money it's people who snipe so people who get in early using bots, they make humongous gains. But how long can this all continue? When will people stop foaming in? When will people start getting educated? And I think education is key to all of this. Because the people with bots make the money, it's not the project which gets benefited. It's not the community that's get benefited. It's not the long-term investors that get benefited. It's just this sudden increase in the price and those are the people who benefit. And hence, I think many, many launch pads are actually in a big danger because there is something called liquidity bootstrapping protocol or LBP, which may kill launch pads in 2021. Now, this may go a little bit technical, so stay with me. I promise you, I will explain everything in detail because it's a technical video. I need some beer. The beer I'm drinking today in celebration of 2021 is left. It's a Belgium blonde beer. Absolute marvelous fermentation feat by the Belgians. Cheers to 2022 and absolutely absolutely fantastic 2021. LBP is basically a balancer core pool which contains the token and is used on the exchange. Unlike the immutable shared pool, smart pool controllers can change the parameters of the pool. Again, I'm going to come back to this point and this can only be done in a very, very controlled uh, manner. Therefore, it's less trustless than a shared pool but does not require the complete trust of a private pool. What it does, you can launch any token that you want with very low capital requirements, no intermediaries, no lawyers, no investment firms, and no launch pads. I'll give you good examples of that later in the video. So initially the weight is set heavily in favor of the token and it is collateralized by a stable coin. Could be DAI, could be USDC, could be something else. Now this ensures that the price of the token doesn't have massive mad swings like the ones you have on KCC pad on bin starter and you can actually whatever the project team thinks the token is worth they can actually set that as the lowest price and then it's up to the community to at what price they want to buy now the advantages of doing it this way is there's no regulatory issues so my friends in us of a can participate uh, as you all know many folks in in america cannot participate because sec doesn't want them to get rich that is the main thing they want to benefit their big boyfriends in big banks and jp morgan's to benefit that's what gary gensler stands for not for you you don't need any kyc there is not crazy sell pressure as is in other launch pads it's a fair market the participants decide what is the price of the token and the starting capital can be really small so you can already see that launching token this manner is actually very very beneficial for the community as well as for the company that is launching the token let me explain the weightage graphically so at the beginning you can set the weightage at 0 0.2 0 0.8 now this can be changed you can have 99 percent 
of your token and one percent of DAI, or you can have 80 20 split this is totally up to the project team what's going to happen over the time this weightage is being reduced and if your token weightage is reduced the stable coin which it is packed to or collateralized is increased now this results in one of the fairest launches of, of a token but in reality what happens is this this is a hypothetical situation this is i'm using uh, mintrust here as an example this is the token that's going to be launched on copper in february and there will be a community allocation event on january the 24th so if you want to participate i'll leave a link in the description and you can actually check them out it's launching on moonbeam moonbeam's clone moon river has absolutely done fantastic on polka dot uh, parachain auctions uh, you can check their price by the way guys my dot portfolio is up to now 30 percent of my total portfolio this is how much i believe in the polka dot ecosystem and hence the launch of dot pad on kcc pad is gonna be a mega event and i'm not gonna sell that i'm gonna try to increase the dot pad allocation by buying after everything subsides sorry for that retraction let's come back let's assume that mintrest team decides that ultimately they want to reach price x here so they're going to set the initial price of the token really high as i said 80 20 let's say 80 percent in favor of mintrest tokens if there is no buy what's going to happen is that the price is going to slowly decrease but let's assume price decreases up to here and a whale comes in and says you know what i'm just going to go for it so they they're going to buy big so what that's gonna do is that's gonna pump the price crazy high. Now, because in this pool, you can actually sell as well. There's no point holding if you are in such massive profits, they're gonna sell. And once they sell, again, the price is gonna come down. Ultimately, what's gonna happen is over a period of time, the price will slowly steadily come down. So don't get wrecked. If you are participating in an LBP, be patient, buy towards the end. In reality, the whale cannot do that. So they will have to split their buys into multiple buys so that it doesn't cause a massive pump or a massive dump. So as a result, the price actually slowly, slowly decreases to the desired ideal price that the company wants. Now in this protocol, the money stays between the community and the company that is selling the token and not sudden snipers whales or bots so that's the idea two lbp protocols that are running at the moment it is copper which is a fair launch auctions protocol which i'm gonna give you some examples here later it basically helps raise money to projects without any barriers to entry the other one is gitcoin's akita which is composed of akita token and wrapped ethereum and it is meant to slowly transfer the akita held by gitcoin which was actually donated by vitalik and it, it, go, it is going back to the community these protocols the more and more companies gonna realize that they don't need launch pads they're gonna come over to these protocols to launch their tokens all your kcc pad meta v pad the barrier to entry for a common investor is huge you need minimum six to seven thousand dollars for a coup starter for example on kcc pad similarly on cd5 fund as well the barrier to entry for a small town investor is huge but that is completely removed the intermediaries are completely removed by the lbp protocols on this copper launch you can have launches which is by the balancer team and then you also have unvetted projects so one of the projects that i'm gonna participate is the mintrest protocol which is launching in about 1.27 months now all of those uh, sniping issues bot issues who makes money guys when these launches happen it's people with bots whales people who can snipe this is all eliminated by the lbp protocols so let's look at the rain protocol which was actually launched on uh, vpad as well vpad gave about 30 million free tokens to the community i received 625 tokens i staked them for five years because they are free so i got in 40 100 more vpad tokens now that whole thing is worth ten thousand dollars can you imagine guys now this could go down to zero but i feel really good about it now on a serious note you need to be very very careful about airdrops so be very careful when you connect the wallet to any site think million times do you really need to connect your wallet is this site scammy field is full of cancerous scumbag scammers remember so be very very careful when you connect your wallet any website that suddenly wants you to copy paste your seed phrase in that's a fraud that's a fraud guys be very very careful so let's look at one of the protocols rain here so it was a three-day launch the price started somewhere here and it shot up but then you can see it slowly gradually reduced to around 80 cents today's market price is 90 cents okay so it's absolutely Absolutely wonderful for the project team it's absolutely wonderful for the community that want to support this project it is not wonderful for people with bots whales and people who want to 
snipe. Now this project will be built over a period of time and all the community members will actually benefit, not people with huge pockets, huge amount of money. And that's exactly what's happening on all the launch pads at the moment. And this is what I think will kill all the launch pads in 2022, except maybe for the Bluezilla ecosystem and except for maybe Super Launcher. If you like the content, hit that bell notification button, like, subscribe and share, and I'll see you in the next video.